Now, hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to share an overnight skin tightening, skin firming moisturizer. Yes, I said moisturizer. This moisturizer is so amazing. If you're looking for like an instant lift to the face, just take up my cheeks right now. I've been using this all week and my skin is basically glowing. I can see how younger and fresher my skin is looking. Now, this is pretty easy to make. I'm using an all natural ingredient and all you need on your skin at night is about two to three drops I'm smiling because it works and I can't wait for you all to try this one so let's go in the kitchen let me make it really quick and then I'm gonna come back at the end I'm gonna share a live demonstration to show you how I use this on my skin to have my skin looking this glowing look at that guys let's go whip this up really really quick to make our facial moisturizer I'm gonna be using rice today but I'm gonna be using cooked rice so cook your rice whether it is white rice or brown rice or even black rice however do not overcook basically do not let it get really soppy okay all right so once your rice is cooked and if you do not know how to cook rice it's a one and a half cup of water to one cup of any rice okay all right so now you're gonna need a blender for this recipe. So let's reach for the blender. And we're gonna use about two tablespoons of the cooked rice. We're pouring this in the blender. My second ingredient is honey, and honey will have to lock the moisture in the skin. It is very hydrating to the skin. We're using a half a teaspoon of honey in the recipe. Just a half a teaspoon. And next I'm going to reach for some hot water and I'm going to use about a quarter cup of hot water. Make sure the water is to boiling point. Pour this in and now we're going to cover and we're going to blend. Now after blending, take a look, nice and creamy. This is exactly how you want it to be. And now we're gonna make this into our facial moisturizer. Now the first oil that I'm gonna use is some rosehip oil. And rosehip oil contain vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. It's a perfect anti-aging oil to use on the skin directly or to use in your homemade DIY facial moisturizer. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of the rosehip oil, pour that in, one teaspoon, this have a really pretty color. My next oil is marula oil, a very hydrating oil that is good for wrinkles, boosting collagen and keeping the skin soft and supple. If you do not have marula oil, you can use some cacao oil, you can use some pomegranate seed oil, you can use some cucumber seed oil, just use any of your favorite facial oils, special facial oil I'll call these. So for our marula oil, I'm using a half a teaspoon pour this in half a teaspoon of the marula next i'm gonna add some vitamin e oil we're using the vitamin e oil for its hydrating properties and also its preserving properties it will help to keep bacteria and mold out of your omi diy now i'm using about a half a teaspoon of the vitamin e oil vitamin e oils comes in many different iu the higher the iu the less you use mine is twenty eight thousand. IU. Now my next ingredient is a vitamin A and these are vitamin A capsules. We're going to use two capsules of these which is 16,000 IU. Vitamin A is very strong. They are really retinol. They're good for wrinkles on the skin, boots in collagen production on the skin. A good anti-aging ingredient and it is also not recommended to use directly on the skin. Definitely mix it with carrier oil or use it the way I'm using it in this recipe recipe to use topically on the skin so we're just gonna squeeze and one of these is gonna give us about three to four drops squeeze that in and 
just toss the shells. Now let's go over our ingredient. We have our cooked rice, we have honey, we have some rosehip oil, we have some marula oil, we have some vitamin A oil, and some vitamin E oil. Now I have one ingredient that is very much optional, and here I have some vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is hydrating, and it is also good to use as a preservative to keep out molds from your DIY. If you do not have vegetable glycerin, that's okay, since we already used the vitamin E. But if you have the vegetable glycerin, go ahead and use about a half a teaspoon of the vegetable glycerin and now this is done we are gonna cover and we are gonna blend now if you're looking to brighten the skin you can add a little bit of a turmeric powder to this recipe and now this is it let's pour this out make sure to get everything out we're gonna give this a stir and this is still very much warm. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna set this aside to cool. And once it is cooled, we're gonna pour this in our storage jar. So let's set this aside, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes when it's cooled. Now once this is cooled, take a look. Nice and creamy. Now let's reach for our storage jar. You need a jar with a tight cover. And let's pour this in. And now this is ready to use on the skin. I suggest that you store this in the refrigerator and you can keep it for about seven to 10 days is good. Now before I apply this to my skin, I just wanted to see this up close. I'm just gonna take the little remainder. I'm gonna put it on my hand right here. This is just for you to see it up close and look at this. Look how this just melts in the skin. What I like about this, no residue. No residue, no residue guys, look at that. All right, let me go on the other side and show you how best to use it on your skin for the most effective result. So here we have the moisturizer and a little goes a long way. All you need is one to two drops of the moisturizer. So place your hand and you're gonna just drop it in. Now, this amount is good. Now this moisturizer is good to use at night and you want to apply it onto clean skin. You're gonna rub it in your hands like I'm showing here. It does not have any residue like I was showing you earlier. And I like to just press it on my skin like this to start. Just press it on and it have a very pleasant fragrance. So it's just gonna dry really, really quick. So be mindful of that. Now once you press it on, you just take your hands, your entire hand, grab your face with it and press it on the skin. The more you press is the faster it is drying on the skin. This is a skin tightening facial moisturizer which you're using at night on the skin. Now within a minute or two, it's gonna dry on the skin. You're gonna feel a tightening sensation that is okay. Okay, so apply it on the skin and go to sleep with it. What I like about this is that even though it is tightening your skin, it is not drying your skin out. And even though we're using absorbent properties such as the rice, it will leave the skin fully hydrated tighten and firm the skin this you can use every night on the skin apply it on top of your facial toner you do not need a facial serum when you're using this so go ahead use it on your skin go to sleep with it wake up in the morning with firm bright radiant glowing skin